This lesson is a continuation of the 10 turnarounds in E video that we just recently did. If you need information about what turnarounds are, how they work, uh, or just want to learn a bunch of turnarounds in E, go ahead and check that out. I'm going to put the link, I believe it's going to be up here. Uh, if not, let's move ahead. We've got seven turnarounds in the key of A. Four of them are going to be kind of variations on a theme. Three of them are going to be different. The last one being kind of strange, but I think you'll dig it. So stick around for that one. If you need the tablature, there's a link in the video description below with a PDF that you can print out with uh, an additional book on blues guitar that's all free. So here we go. <laughs> Example one, we start off with the open fifth string. We're actually gonna have the static A there. And there's also gonna be an A on the first string, fifth fret. And the descending line that actually makes it sound more like a turnaround is gonna be on the fourth string. So this one is the basic triplet idea, but instead of having the notes go like example one from the E shape, this one is actually going to have an oblique movement happening or where one note stays the same while the other moves down against it. So we've got one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two triplet. Then I'm playing this E7 chord here. Two, one, and then three. You could play that one instead of doing triplets as both notes together. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two triplet. That's also, could have been an example. We'll call that 1.5. It's not in your, your PDF here. The next one, actually we're gonna combine those two ideas. One, two triplet, three, and four triplet, one, two triplet. What you're going to find is that this one almost feels like two different guitars happening at the same time. Example number three is going to have two notes that descend down chromatically against your static A note. One, two, and three, four triplet, one, two triplet, three that one one more time. And you could go if you wanted to. You can mix and match the fingerings with the right hand, which we'll show you here. You do it that way. Or That's the nice thing about this. There's no right or wrong way to play these turnarounds. Uh, what we're doing is we're just exploring the variations that you can make with this. The last one of this group of four is going to be really my favorite. And in a way, there's a little bit of what we call contrary motion going on in the moving parts. Uh, you're going to have the two static notes. You're going to have the open A and then the A on the first string. But then on the other two strings, you're going to have five and then four and then three and then three and four like that. So the lines are kind of moving against each other. One, two triplet, three, four triplet, one. I'll play that one one more time without talking over it. Number five, we're going to get into something that you might find a little bit more in a, a Chicago blues, like a little Walter tune. What you find is you don't have to have those six and those, those moving parts happen the same way every time. And a lot of these, it's really just play a lick that's in triplets starting on beat two. So the next two of these are going to be that sort of deal. And they're, they're kind of my favorite ones to do in this style. We're going to start on the, the, basically slide into the major third of the A. So we're going to go six on the third string, five, seven on the second string. In the first string, we're going to go eight, five, seven. That's the next triplet. And then five, five, seven. And that's going to be the first measure. Those are the three triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we do a little hammer on into the the C sharp right there, the third, and then walk into the chord. So together, one, you 
could also do this where you're sliding into the the sixth right here. Either one works cool. So you got the, the number five. Or Number seven is a little weird. It's not super traditional for blues. And in fact, it's more of a country lick that I've adapted to work as a, as a blues turnaround. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the ninth fret on the third and first strings. Notice the fingers that I use. Using these two fingers allows me to do that bend because what's happening is the first string goes up a half step, the third string goes up a whole step. That way it's in key. And then I'm gonna play this tritone here, which is E flat on the third string, eighth fret, and then A on the first string, fifth fret. And then we get the weird, well, the next weird part, which is the seventh fret on the first and third strings. I slide up and down to the eighth fret and then back down to the seven. And then I play the fifth fret on both those strings. And you can either hammer on the sixth fret on the third string, which is the, the major third of the chord, or you can play the notes together. So I'll do a little bit from this, this angle. <laughs> <laughs> 